The new Northeastern Nevada Radiation Oncology Center is now open, offering the latest in cancer radiation treatment. And in the news, News 10 Today, Relay for Life, painting the town pink by planting flamingo flocks. And coming up on News 10 Monday, remembering an Elko mother lost to domestic violence. Family and friends share memories by candlelight. News 10 Today begins now. From the News 10 Broadcast Center, this is News 10 Today with Lori Gilbert. Another week, sunny skies and possibly record high temperatures, at least ranging in the triple digits. We'll find out more in this morning's forecast here on News 10. Thanks for watching on your Monday morning. Topping this report, turning up the heat on summer weather now includes a threat of thunderstorms. Meteorologist Jeremy Michael has details of a brewing weather system as winds and temperatures continue to dry out our desert landscape. It's not quite a classic monsoon moisture surge, um, but it is starting to begin, uh, the beginnings of it. We'll have a lot of mid to upper level moisture streaming into the area, which will result in uh, dry thunderstorms. Um, they'll stay on the isolated side, and maybe even mid next week, we may actually start getting uh, more moist, so we'll expect some of these showers to reach the ground. You know, with these dry thunderstorms, expect gusty outflow winds, so don't be shocked if you get 40, 50 mile per hour wind gusts from some of these, but very little rain. Um, but that could change hitting in the next week, so we'll just continue to, to monitor that. Uh, the latest fuel status got off of the, the Great Basin fire call, and we're not completely cured here yet in Nevada, so we're not classified as ready to burn. That doesn't mean we could get a fire or two, but the, the spread potential is very low. They're expecting that to change over the coming weeks, and they're going to reevaluate you know, once we have uh, you know, here in the next few days to a week. An Elko mother lost to domestic violence was remembered by her children and family during candlelight ceremonies last week, marking four years since her death. Stephanie Gonzalez's mother, Lydia Cortez, said it was a day that changed their family forever, a pain that will never go away, as Stephanie's youngest daughter described. Even though I knew my mom wasn't here, I still would call her. her now her phone number is just something to remember her. I miss my mom so much, but I know I will see her again. Sometimes we don't want to talk about it because it's, um, sometimes people just don't want to get involved. Uh, it's life and it's, uh, it's real and it's people's lives that are um, in danger here. Not only physical, physical uh, and emotional, but it is the women's life that is in danger and uh, we just don't want more to happen in our community. And we need to continue talking about it. I know um, people don't want me to get into details of the graphic uh, nature of it, but it is life, and uh, and people need to really um, hear it. I don't want another family to go through what we have been going through these last four years. It's still as painful today as it was back then. Um, it's something that won't go away. And uh, we need our community to be there for one another. The only suspect in Stephanie's death, Eduardo Estrada, her estranged husband, is awaiting extradition in Mexico City, where he was apprehended last fall. A Utah man was arrested on suspicion of felony domestic violence. Authorities got a call to a West Wendover casino. 22-year-old Alexander Chauvinal of Fort Duchesne was being held on enhanced charges of domestic violence strangulation. The suspect booked into the Elko County Jail with bail at $20,000. The latest in oncology radiation treatment is now available in Elko with the opening of a new facility on Ericart Boulevard. Dr. Doug Debenham and a team of specialists are now treating cancer patients at the Northeastern Nevada Radiation Oncology Center. I am so pleased to be here and to finally be celebrating the opening of the Cancer Center. Uh, we've had a, a wonderful public grand opening. I think good uh, food, uh, some great speakers. We have certificates of recognition from our two U.S. Senators. Uh, a lot of good things have taken place tonight. I've really enjoyed visiting with, with city and state and, and federal officials that are here. It's been a beautiful day. We already have a small handful under treatment right away after opening, and um, so the service is being provided. We're already saving folks uh, already hours and hours and hours of driving by offering care locally. 
thanks so much to the community. We have been uh, given such a warm welcome here, and it's been a great experience so far. We're looking forward to being here for years in the future. Still to come on News 10 this morning, we'll visit in studio with our Elko County Sheriff Jim Pitts. He'll have an update on some county law enforcement issues and a reminder of special summer events. Again, today's forecast, we are looking at temperatures approaching triple digits, if not surpassing that mark. 101 in Elko and Wells. Carlin's high of 103 today, 100 in Spring Creek. Overnight lows ranging in the upper 50s to near 60. Also coming up in the news this morning, details on the American Cancer Society's fundraiser. It's just weeks away. You may have been wondering about those pink flamingo flocks that have been cropping up around town. Well, they are painting the town pink to benefit the charity. You'll find out more in this morning's report. You're watching News 10 today. For local news and weather, make us your Facebook friend and find us online.